welcome to today's webinar. I am Skylar with Lean Frontiers, and we are excited to welcome Nick Katko today. You will receive a link to view the recording within 24 to 48 hours. Also, I would like to take just a quick moment to introduce Nick. Nick is president and owner of BMA. For over 20 years, Nick has leveraged his lean accounting experience and philosophy in assisting BMA clients in developing, leading, and coaching them in their lean accounting transformation. Nick is a regular speaker at the annual Lean Accounting Summit and has also presented at conferences in the United States, Europe, Asia, and Australia. Nick is also the author of Practicing Lean Accounting, the Lean CFO, and co-author of the Lean Business Management System. And with that, I will hand it over to Nick. Thanks, Skylar. Uh, good day, everyone. Glad you can join us for this webinar. Let me uh, first share my screen. Can everybody see my screen? Yep. Can everybody hear me and see me also? Yes. <laughs> okay. Just want to make sure. I have I have done webinars where not not all those things happened. So let me start at the beginning. All right. So um, we're going to talk about lean financial leadership today. You know what is it? What does it mean? Why is it important? Um, it's a topic I just started really thinking about in, in terms of like, a you know, when companies go down a lean accounting transformation path. And uh, I, I think it's, it, I'm, I'm actually writing a second edition of the lean CFO. I'm, I'm finishing it up. And this is actually, th this presentation is really based on one of the chapters. And one thing I did differently in the second edition of the book is as opposed to talking about leadership at the end, I'm talking about it at the beginning because I think that it's important. So um, anyway, what will we talk about today? You know, what are, the, what are the keys to successful lean accounting transformations? Uh, how to become a role model? how to use, how to make lean accounting part of your lean strategy, how to use lean practices in a lean accounting transformation process and wrapping up by being the head coach. This really, this, this webinar really is directed at um, finance and accounting people that are, um, are going to be involved in a lean accounting transformation. Uh, whether you're a CFO, vice president of accounting and finance, controller, things like that. It, it's also somewhat applicable to lean leaders in the company also, because they see they also need to uh, provide lean financial leadership. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions, put them in the chat panel and uh, we can take a look at them at the end if we have some time. If not, uh, please feel free to contact me and I'll be glad to answer any questions via email or a quick Zoom meeting. So the keys to successful lean accounting transformations. Number one, if you're the CFO or the senior accounting manager in the company, you must be the leader. Now I speak from direct experience of being a CFO and, and putting a lean accounting system in place. And then, you know, if you ever had the pleasure to uh, listen to people like Jerry Solomon, Ori Fumi, Mark Delugio, Gene Cunningham, and Mike DeLuca, you know, all of them were also in a similar position in the company. They were, they were, they may not have had the CFO title, uh, but they were the senior accounting leader in their company. And they, in, in every one of their cases, they also drove one or more lean accounting transformations. And so, you know, this really is the reason, like, way back in the first edition of the Lean CFO, this is why I called it the Lean CFO. Whether your title is 
uh, controller or CFO or vice president, you know, whatever it may be, you have to really, from a thinking point of view, put lean in front of your title. You need to become a lean CFO. You need to become a lean controller. You need to become a lean accounting manager, whatever it may be. Your job is to coach the company. Okay. I mean, in a lean accounting transformation is no different than a lean transformation. You know, yes, you can, there's a plan and you put things in place. Lean is all about changes, making improvements and changing. And people have to learn how to do that. It's no different in lean accounting. You have to teach people how to use these new numbers in analysis and decision-making. So there needs to be this sort of support network and it needs to start with accounting. Uh, the fourth, the, the fourth bullet point, avoid, wait, and see, uh, and professional skepticism. You know, if, uh, if you're trained in accounting and if you have gone through the, the public accounting auditing, uh, career path, you know, this is part of what we, we learn in our education and experience is to be sort of professionally skeptical. You know, we 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 want that. That means we want to be analytical. We want to. We need to prove things and all that. <laughs> and that's good for auditing, but it's not good for lean or lean accounting, because you have to sort of make the leap of faith first that lean is good for the company. That lean accounting is going to be beneficial to the company before you start doing anything. I uh, was working with a company a couple of weeks ago and talking to them, they actually tried to, tried they, they put box scores in place a few years ago, then they just stopped using them. So part of uh, me being there was they didn't want to restart it, but they don't want to make the same mistakes. And as we were going through the plan, the, um, the man who's the chief financial officer sort of said, well, I think it sounds good, but I'm going to wait and see. And again, you know, it, it's, we talked to him about that. You know, we said, well, you probably just need to, don't wait and see, you know, be actively involved and learn. So there's a difference between wait and see and learn. Okay. So again, those are the two things to avoid. And you have to sort of make sure your whole accounting and finance team thinks the same way. All right, so you want to become the role model, okay? You want to emulate the behavior and the thinking and the language of lean accounting. So the first thing you have to do is change your thinking. And you have to believe in the benefits of lean accounting before you get started. You have to understand that it's going to be beneficial for the company. Okay. Can't be skeptical about it. Can't say, well, you know, the senior leaders want to do it, but I'm not sure about it. You can't, can't do that. You got to be all in on it. Second, you have to understand from, from your viewpoint and from the company's viewpoint and from accounting's viewpoint, this is a, <coughs> excuse me, a long-term learning experience, okay? And you're, you're on this learning experience, this learning journey together. You're gonna learn how to use lean accounting to improve the quality of decision-making in the company. And when you align lean accounting with lean thinking, you're going to learn how you can achieve financial success with lean. So it's a learning experience. It's and learning never ends. Okay, this is not something you do. It's something you learn. You need to care about people. Okay. 
people have to learn. And, you know, if you think about any personal learning experience you may have had, whether it's in your education, uh, maybe it's something else like learning how to play a musical instrument or take up a sport or something, you know, not everybody learns at the same pace. And so you, you have to really uh, pay attention to care about people and show that you care. You want to help them, okay? It's, it's not, lean accounting is not something where you sort of create a box score and you hand it off to people say, here, here's a box score, start using it. They have to learn how to use it. And sometimes they need a coach or a teacher or a mentor. Okay, so make sure there's a lot of caring about the people and, and adopt that attitude. Well, I mean, one thing I always say about people who may, excuse me, <clears throat> may appear to resist something is they probably just need to learn a little bit better. Uh, avoid interruptions. Don't pause the lean accounting transformation. I've seen this happen more than one time where things get in the way. It may be something like, oh, we have to do our budgeting in the fourth quarter of the year. So we're just going to pause lean accounting till we finish budgeting. It could be something simple like that. It could be something simple like, oh, well, you know, we have this crisis in our business that, that we have to deal with. And much like if you pause a lean transformation, you sort of lose momentum. And sometimes you have to sort of backtrack and, you know, restart. Same thing's going to happen with lean accounting. Okay, so, you know, this is something that, you know, you may have to deal with business, is business issues or business conditions, but you sort of have to work this out, okay? You don't want to pause it. Maybe you just make some adjustments. Maybe you adjust the transformation schedule, but don't, don't put it on pause. All right, so the next piece of becoming a lean financial leader is uh, it is essential that lean accounting is part of the overall lean strategy. So this starts with the senior leaders. And uh, the easiest way to say it is that they must show unequivocal, unequivocal, an unwavering support for lean accounting. They can't hedge their bets. They can't take a wait and see approach. <coughs> it has to be basically unwavering. You have to integrate lean accounting, the lean accounting transformation plan into your overall lean transformation plan. plan. You have to have a clear action plan to develop and deploy. Uh, you don't necessarily have to, you don't walk in one day and say, we're going to put lean accounting in everywhere. You, you start small. You start maybe in one value stream or one location in your, your company. One reason that it's important to make lean accounting part of the lean strategy is that it, lean accounting is a company commitment. It's not something that just accounting and finance do. Why? If you think about, think about the information in your business, all the users of the financial and non-financial information, they are in all functions of your company. It's not just the accounting people. And so all, all of the people that use the information to analyze and make decisions, they're customers of lean accounting. So they need to be part of the transformation process because they are the users, okay? And the, the process of analysis and decision-making 
is a little bit different than like making a product. Okay, if you if you're manufacturing a product, there's only one way to make the product it has to meet the, the engineering specs and the quality specs and follow one production process. When it comes to analysis and decision making, it's how people use the numbers in their thinking habits. Okay, and we'll, we'll talk about that in a little while. And again, the deployment of lean accounting is cross-functional. So users need to be involved in the development. They need to be intimately involved in the transformation. Um, again, based on working with a lot of companies over time, you know, when the senior leader of the company, senior leaders of the company stand up and say, lean accounting is part of our plan, it will work. It will be successful. You, the company will make it happen. But it's but when that doesn't happen, then there are chances that you know things could get in the way of lean accounting, or lean accounting might not have the total support of everyone in the company. So make it part of the plan, and and make sure that. The senior leaders articulate that in a very clear way. And when you know when it comes to articulating what lean accounting is about, you know, the purpose of lean accounting is to improve <coughs> decision making in the in a lean company with relevant and reliable information. Okay, it's not just about producing numbers, it's about using the numbers. And, and relevant information is useful, understandable, and timely. Reliable information is verifiable and valid. And in a lean company, the definitions of relevant and reliable information change from when you were a non-lean company. So you want this information to be basically aligned with lean thinking and lean practices and lean methods. And if the information is aligned, everybody in the company is going to make better decisions. So again, you know, define the purpose of lean accounting. Senior leaders need to understand what that purpose is. You know, understand that lean accounting is a system. Okay, it's not something that just accounting does. It involves the accounting function. I like to I like to say that accounting, you're stewards of the lean accounting system. You're also users of the information. But you know, you think about it's all the financial and non-financial information in the company. It's all the different information systems which either store the information, process the information, you know, and, and those, you know, it could be your, e, it's partly your ERP system. You think about other forms of information systems, even spreadsheets. It involves all the users in the company. And it's about all of the analytical practices that go on throughout the company to make decisions. So this is big, okay? And it's it's um, that's why again we want the company commitment. It needs to be part of the strategy because a lean accounting transformation is going to impact all five of these areas, and it's important for accounting to understand this up front. So uh, the next thing is you know in the actual transformation process. It, I found over the years that it's really best to use lean practices to make the transformation process effective and successful. So I just want to review some of these with you um, because again, you know, a transfer, you're transforming a system. You're going to run into problems and issues and obstacles. Some of those may be planned. Some of those may not be or some of those may be understood, some may not be understood. But again, you know, it's about keeping going and not 
getting discouraged just because things aren't maybe going as smoothly as you hope. So the first thing is focus on customer value. And if you think about a the, the three general categories of accounting's customers, you have the users of external reporting information like senior leaders and stakeholders and regulators. You know, what do they want? They want quality. Okay, and you know, this is the one thing accounting does well. You know, you produce financial statements that are compliant with financial reporting requirements. That's the quality standard. Anything less than that doesn't work. You know, and what, what do they want to experience? Well, they want rational explanations to make decisions about the company. For example, shareholders. Do I buy more shares? Do I sell or whatever? The middle group, users of internal information, employees and managers, this is really, you know, what I've been talking about, the users. They want relevant and reliable information. It needs to be useful to them to, to analyze and they decide if it's useful. It has to be understandable, meaning it needs to be aligned with lean thinking and practices. Then there's the third P, third group of the people that receive that that um, are the recipients of the financial transactions. So focus on creating value for your customers, your internal users, and also, this is another reason why you want them involved. So you want to apply continuous improvement. You know, in, in management accounting, okay? You think about your existing um, management accounting system. Think about it as there's waste and we want to eliminate that waste. So what do we want to do? For example, if you look at manufacturing, we want to reduce defects. Defects would be uh, information that is incorrect, that is not aligned with lean, such as product cost variances and absorptions. So we want to reduce the defects, improve quality. We want to eliminate overproduction, reports that are produced and ignored by operations, lead operations. We want to reduce the waiting time. And, and, th and this is between, the waiting time is the users waiting on information, okay? And a lot of times traditional management accounting systems work on the monthly cycle, but in lean operations, you're working on a daily or weekly cycle, so you're not getting timely information. The neglect of talent, okay? And this really focuses on accounting and finance where you're spending a whole lot of time processing information instead of actually analyzing it. Transportation waste is information handoffs between systems, spreadsheets, and reports. Batching, inventory is batching, like monthly reporting, annual rate setting. You have the human motion, you know, meetings and communications to explain numbers. And then you have excess processing, such as shop floor reporting, time tracking, and detailed rate setting. So if you look at your existing management accounting system, you know, what you're trying to do in this transformation process is eliminate waste, which can manifest itself in any of these ways. Now, there's a great benefit of in eliminating waste in management accounting. You create capacity in accounting and finance, eliminate wasteful activities, you create more time, and you can spend more time delivering value-added analysis. And as, a, as an additional benefit, you control costs. So there's a great benefit to accounting to really transition to a lean accounting system. Now, when you think about a lean accounting transformation plan, 
Think about it as a series of improvement cycles, okay? For example, if you start on the lower left, you complete a pilot. The next step would be to put lean accounting in place in daily lean management. Then you would use it in weekly value stream operation review. Then you would begin using it in continuous improvement. Then you would begin using it in ongoing opera operational decision-making, profitability analysis. Then you start really branching out, integrating it in sales and supply chain, and then into planning and budgeting. So this is sort of like a, a transformation process. Now, each of these steps is a plan, do, check, adjust process. But, you know, just because, for example, you complete daily lean management and put it in place doesn't mean you don't stop trying to improve it inside daily lean management. So, you know, there's continuous improvement in transitioning to a lean accounting system and also making it better over time. You know, the plan, do, check, adjust is the scientific method, also known as A3 thinking, uh, lean problem solving. And it's really important to employ this in the transition plan and also to deal with problems and issues and obstacles that you will encounter. Doesn't happen in... Uh, in one day. So start with pilots. Start with one value stream in your company. If you're a smaller company, maybe you could start with one location, things like that. You want to demonstrate how it improves decision making. When you demonstrate it, then you move on. And, and the people that experience improved decision making, they become your your chief marketing people about how how good and what the benefits of lean accounting are. So just to wrap things up, uh, I'd like you know think of yourself as a head coach, okay? You know, so what does a coach have to do? They have to emulate behavior, your words, your actions, your reactions. Okay, people are going to be watching you. I mean, th this is true in business. Okay, if you're a manager, everybody's watching you. What you say, what you don't say, your actions, your body language, things like that. So what behavior do you want everyone to emulate? Just practice it constantly. Understand you have to develop individuals. You have to develop people one at a time. And there's different levels of experience and confidence. You know, you'll find some people pick up on this really, really fast. Other people might struggle with it. Other people may want to keep doing things the old way or use the old information. Again, you got to work with everybody individually. You know, focus, focus like a head coach, you have teams, you know, you're the senior accounting leader in the company, you have your accounting team, okay, they need to be all in on lean accounting, just like you are, then you have the company, which is a, a, even a bigger team, and can be very, very complex, depending on the size of your organization. But again, you got to think of it as a team, we're going to move together through this transformation process. And finally, remember, this is all about practicing, okay? Uh, you have to practice lean accounting. It's not something you do. It's not something you do and then stop doing. It's something that you are always going to practice from the point you commit to the lean accounting transformation, you know, until you stop working at the company, really. So again, the more that you practice, the better you get individually as a team and as a company. So anyway, that wraps things up. Uh, we're at the end of our session. Uh, I don't know if there are uh, any, uh, let me get to the thing. I don't know if there are any uh, 
Nick, I'm question. still here and I don't see, um, I haven't seen any questions pop up. Okay. All right. So then we can just wrap things up. Um, you know, thanks for attending. Hope this was helpful. Do you have any questions? Please contact me or contact Lean Frontiers and um, they'll be able to uh, get you information. Yeah, thank you so much, Nick. If anybody does have questions like Nick just said, we can um, connect you directly with Nick. If anybody um, ha also with the PowerPoint, Nick has provided his PowerPoint. So that will be coming out um, tomorrow as well within 24 to 48 hours. Um, so you will receive a link to view the recording and the PowerPoint. Again, if you do have any questions, just let us know. Nick, thank you so much for okay. facilitating today. It was great getting to see you. And uh, also, all of you, if you're still on, hope to see you at the Lean Accounting Summit in September. It's on the beach. It's a great place to go. Yes. <laughs> Come to the Lean Accounting Summit. We'll see y'all soon. <laughs> have a great right. weekend. Thank you, Nick. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.